All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. Excuse me. Okay, fine, fine. Here. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Enjoy your apple. And tell your friends. Hey there, little guy. How you doing? Hey, you like that? Huh? Hey. Tower. It's solid. Come on, it's a, it's a lemur. Come on, come say hi. It's all right. <laughs> so cute. Whoa! Hey! Hey, Sully! <laughs> hey! He stole my app? Excuse me. The groom. Whoa, this is something out of Avery's era. Where did you get this? Ah, uh, friend, that is a very unique item. I'd give you a discount. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> are you kidding? I don't even know if it's real. I'll give you fifty bucks for it. Four hundred dollars, and it's real. I don't know why he's interested in that piece. Come on, man. Uh, 200, okay? That's all I have on me. I cannot possibly part with it for less than 300. That is my final offer. And I'll take it. 300. Nay. Really? Done. You see that? That's how you haggle. <laughs> if you say so. Sully, you gotta be crazy to wear a shirt like that. Ah, crazy handsome. Hey, you guys. Seen any uh, pirate treasure around here? Hey, Nate. Sorry, he's so impatient. Oh, oh hell. I am sorry. I, here, let me help you. My mistake. I apologize for my friend. I haven't fed ah, him in a while. Take care. You see the way she looked at me? <laughs> you are delusional. I don't think so. Well, why don't you invite her back for some spicy bread? Oh, man. Something smells really good. Excuse me. Mm, he's right. It does smell good. Excuse me. Hey, here we go. Locked. I guess we're gonna have to sneak in discreetly. Implied by the use of the word sneak. Hey, check it out. That window over there is broken. Hey, Sully. I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work.
Okay, let's see what we got. Wow. This place is in much better shape than the other towers. It's right in the middle of the city. Might make getting the treasure out of it tricky. One thing at a time. Let's just not draw undue attention to ourselves. That'll be a first. Edward England's sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. clock tower. Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. those gears up there. You bet. <laughs> Thank you. 
Scorpio. Bet Avery was a Scorpio.
hands are lined up. I can get across. There you are. Sure hope you're doing okay out there, Sam. Okay, Sully, I made it! This is gonna be loud! Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? I don't know yet. You? Deaf? Come on. Let's see what Avery has in store for us. Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my towel, I, I got nothing. Yeah? Well, we're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Huh? <laughs> 
Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah. They got those star patterns on them. They turn. But which way are they supposed to go? Just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condit. Splendid. But why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Huh. Bonnie was a redhead. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, that's right. Content went by Billy One Hand. Guess he had one made. Nah. Nada. Nah. -uh. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. Well, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. Yeah, it's all right. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm. They are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too. Here we go. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Want, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet, but I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Books, globe. This Want guy looks like a scholar. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. Is it straight? 
straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. There. Books, globe. This Want guy looks like a scholar. Hey, Richard Want. He was the captain of the Dolphin. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Uh -huh. You know, I'm honestly shocked you don't know this stuff. No, I, I do. I just want to make sure Sam knows. You know, because he likes to feel useful, that's all. Aha, uh -huh. of course. Shit, what happened here? A uh, torch probably fell or something. Come on, let's see what's left. I don't recognize this guy. Looks a lot younger than the other pirates. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. That's one. Sam texted me back. Ah, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Gloating is unseemly. Yeah, I know. Let's just look at the paintings. Huh. No name. This guy's get-up looks Moorish. Found the stars, but who are you? Huh. Yazid al-Basra. Looks Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, aren't the muggles the ones Avery robbed? Honor among thieves. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever the case. That's three. Edward England. Stout little fellow. And four. All right, I got the names of two of them. We should still be able to figure this out. Not sure yet. Maybe send it to Sam? Really? Hey, you're the one who said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Okay, that's one. And two. Last one. All right, let's see what he makes of them. You know, that kind of looks on. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Here, let me see. Hmm. 
Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes. Yeah. And I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Prodeus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, it's so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am. I'm calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. It's been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner... Well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow. Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. And I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old time's sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quo licentia, for God and liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now. And destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. We gotta find some place to hide. Oh. Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey! I'll buy you a new one. <laughs>